hello and welcome everybody so this is the project I'm working on in my way and journey to learn uh, about ocean and flip fluid so hopefully this is a little bit more improvement so this is a, a C4 and these are spectrum with a low frequency wave and some high frequency wave this is a, a wave spectrum that's moving and colliding with this castle and we have some white water still uh, working progress and hopefully with time I'll be getting better and better results and this one is uh, rendered with karma and, and it is still in rendering yeah. so the other file I have that's still in running is this not this one one second what happened yeah so file open this one is still ongoing from a different angle and as you can see flat surface and I didn't extend it because I want to examine my mistakes and my progress so I can improve on it here many things to be improved so this is the file um, this is the main subject okay a castle with some rocks and tree that the water will collide with I imported uh, to here and uh, what I did is uh, just I tried to prepare it for uh, collision so I don't want most of these things to collide like the surface the trees I need some rocks so I blasted most of it and uh, at the end I went down all the way down to here so just simple facts because from this far distance you cannot see the collision with the trees I want the main main geometry okay after that uh, what's being rendered is here so it's scaled and prepped so this one is not a complete simulation only in render and uh, what I went here and did see I was uh, experimenting so here I did connectivity so and uh, we'll have a class here to show each uh, each connected piece to be alone so I went through a for each loop uh, with the class uh, being the one the attribute that I am uh, checking I did convex uh, decomposition for each one because if you can see here or as you notice most of it is it's open geometry and it's thin layer so it's not water sealed or watertight it will not work nicely with the flip and if I put a convex hull for all the geometry it will be it will look horrible and bad so for each loop and I did a little bit poly extrude for it and then this is the representation of the geometry as you can see course here uh, I deleted the geometry I don't want I kept the one I need the small branches small parts I removed it here I was trying with uh, converting it transforming it that's it okay here also I was trying to put the grid and put the a surface down below but uh, for this ocean it's not needed maybe for a beach will be a good idea something like this that I put a beach and it will collide and with time the wave will be suppressed so here all these should go to this way oh. it's checking so all of it is going here and this one here so I did the collision source for the geometry and this is the VDB from it low res also it, it, it will work okay and this is the out so after that let's put back the texture uh, two parts first part is the guided ocean layer from ocean this one guided ocean layer I used and after I finish I went and I added the white water so I used the shelf tool 
so it make my life a little bit easier so in the initial uh, layer let's go in I go to frame one okay so this is the main setup it's by default it will come I modify it a little bit playing with it experimenting so the main thing is this one so I have here ocean wave and this is the one it came with that I played with so without the ocean wave this is how it look and then I added an ocean wave it's big because I want to examine and uh, investigate uh, how the sim will work because you know with by doing mistakes and experimenting we learn more yeah so this is one of the experimentation then what did I do else extruded volume yeah here because I wanted uh, the surface of the ocean to react to the white water okay so the white water don't go inside this is the colliding geometry and this is the wave tank so I make sure all of the particle inside the area here is removed so I don't have any artifact or crazy things and see it's a flat surface because uh, with the flip you have the particle uh, giving you the surface shape and the volume down here will uh, contribute with the velocity so it will be more easier and uh, much creative its surface here I need these two I need the boundary surface the volume see this is the volume and I need the particles the points these two things is needed here because here we we apply guided ocean layer and we have boundary layer also so the water will be refilled in the network with, with the guided uh, ocean volume why did I remove the velocity we should put the back the velocity anyway I did it like this see either you can put a bob advict by volume or you can use it here which is also okay this is the same I went with slow res because it's taking ages the most important thing here in the static solver or the static object I use volume and I make sure that I point it out to the VDB one that we created I add attribute receding I added droplet and vorticity and increase the collision by 3 but it's not moving object if it's moving it will be more pro prominent and more pronounced and here also I solve pressure with adaptivity so it will not waste time on unnecessarily area after that I had this one and this one oh, one second it's evaluating spot scale one second okay, it's responding now so here <coughs> I imported the files I save it as a compressed file so this is the compressed version and this one is the surface preview for the particle so let it load Give it time, I press escape. Let's see here. Escape pressure particle with compressed fluid surface. I want only particle. Let it compute. Okay, so let's choose a frame in the middle. This one. So, as you can see, the wave is moving, it's responding, and reacting to the velocity let's take another frame yeah. very good here also I added the surface so the surface I save it after uh, after 
after simulating it. So this is the surface. Just take another time. I didn't spend much time on the surface because it will be covered mostly because of this high velocity with the white water. Okay, so after that, I added the white water, the white water source. I pointed out to the, uh, not the compressed uh, f file cache. No, I, I pointed out to the compressed file cache because already I saved it there. So let me press escape and go here. So this is the compressed one. And then I did the source. For the source, I uh, mostly as previous. So let's just take uh, the default uh, setting. We are okay. So this is most. This is the velocity as you can see here from the green scape. Green is acceleration. So mostly it's acceleration. Okay, then I injected it in the white sim. I included the wave and the castle. And this is the white wave. And here I made sure uh, the solver will inject the stat attribute. So I can have uh, bubble, spray, foam, all of it. Okay. Here I imported it. This is the whole thing. Let's take a frame. Wait for it to load. So it is about six million seven hundred particle. And I only rendered out. Uh, uh, the particles because I wanted to see the particle. I didn't render out any mist, any foam, just the particles because it's uh, from a far distance, so it will look the same faster. Let's go to the last frame. This one 20 million nine hundred. I put uh, color. Mm -hmm. Color. Okay. I want it here and here. I want to choose ramp from attribute just to visualize it better than this uh, solid white. So the velocity. So you have the spray, the foam, the depth, the bubble. I'll go by the velocity and choose white water. Let's increase it to 10, 15, so this is how it looks on the camera, nice, this crazy way, yeah. after that, it half, so this is how it looks. I have a grid down below, so it will react. I have my uh, HDRI, uh, table of camera positions. These are the material. Already I cached, uh, I cached, uh, what is it? Extended. I cached uh, both uh, the spectrum and the mask. As you can see and inject it here properly and in the out I make it uh, geometry rope so it will do all of the simulation and save it to disk and this is the chain for the render and that's all so thank you for watching and your support also